Welcome back YouTube. I took the recording side of this video and took it back inside. Outside is very windy and uh, I'm actually impressed that I got the kind of results that, that I did in that kind of wind. Did some filming for Accuracy Demo. We were using the uh, JSBs. The only difference is that on these JSBs I went and sorted them by weight and I used the JSBs that weighed exactly 18.1 and those are the results you're about to see. And again, I used the Bobcat. I, I went and did it this way. Weighed out all my pellets. I actually have uh, six stacks. The other ones are in little Ziploc bags. But I was surprised uh, just the variation in weight, how it went from not being below 18 to being extremely heavy above the 18.1 mark. And I did the sorting simply because there's a lot of people out there who just don't know what they're talking about. Who seem to think that uh, they know my gun better than <laughs> I do. Every Bobcat is going to be different. It's going to shoot differently. It's going to have different problems. You know, what I'm demonstrating is this Bobcat. But without further ado, let's get on with it then. I went ahead and eliminated all the film and all the shots from 25 yards because pretty much, you know, this gun, uh, from the pellets I've tested so far, it doesn't matter what you put at it. At 25 yards, it's going to stack them on top of each other, no matter the brand. So, uh, this Bobcat, put whatever ammo you want in this gun, and it's going to stack pellet on top of pellet at 25 yards. Now these results are from uh, cleaning and lubing pellets. I lubed them with uh, REM oil. And as you can see, this group is just slightly bigger than a dime size group. Closer more to a nickel size group. This is 50 yards exactly. Uh, the only thing I did not do differently on this one is I did not sort the pellets. This is the following group after this one. All these shots took place on the 25th of this month, 9th of uh, September. This group, and as you can see there's a flyer, and that's the case I'm going to make, is exactly just a quarter size group, or better said it's about an inch group. This is came right after these results, as you can see. Okay. Same thing here. This is the next group. Shot slightly higher. There's a little bit of wind. Sorry, there. There's a little bit of wind, and I get a flyer. That group is also just slightly bigger than a dime group, about a nickel sized group. 50 yards, again, unsorted, just cleaned and lubed. And the next group following that. As you can see, another flyer. Just slightly, it's going to be, I think, exactly below. And there you go, a dime size group. Okay, and these are today's results. Taking the 38. So it's been five days since the other shots. This is my first initial shots. This was taking at a pressure of about 2400 
and as you can see I had two flyers but the inside group measured out to be uh, 15 millimeters close to 16 and being a just slightly bigger than an inch group 0 0.6 60th of an inch uh, bigger than a nickel let's throw in the dime so that interior group is a dime group and eliminating those flyers is the biggest issue right now that I've had at 50 yards I wish I didn't have flyers I wish the gun would be perfect but don't we all And here's uh, is this the best one? No. This is the, this is the group right after uh, that first 11 shot group. This is a 6 shot group. As you can tell, there's always a flyer. There's, these flyers never seem to go away. Smaller than a dime group. You know, smaller than a dime. It's 13.8. It is just at half an inch. This is a half inch group. And this is an extreme spread group. It's not a center to center group. If you wanted a center to center group, you just have to subtract the size of a pellet to give you a center to center size. So take whatever size you want from here, and that'll give you a center to center group measurement. This is the best I've ever seen out of this gun, even if you take into account the flyer, because that's still within a, a quarter but just look at the size of that group those they were six shots you know these are the pellets that were sorted by weight you know look at that compare that to the dime it's half the size of that dime it's 12.6 or half inch and these uh, last three cards that I showed you they were all taken in the wind I honestly thought the wind was going to push these pellets off center, but they were close enough. They didn't really move them a lot. All of them. Except for for this card, the first eleven shots. You know the shots went high, but then the gun, as they say, kind of fouled itself through the pellets and started shooting like it was supposed to. Those are your results. What more can you ask? The gun can do half inch groups, can do dime, half, half a dime group at 50 yards. 50 yards with the Bobcat. You know, yes, I did have to go and do this wonderful sorting of pellets. But the gun, as you can see, can do very well. As you can see, the gun is doing its part. Am I doing my part? I think and I hope that I am. You know, it's frustrating, yes, to, to see these wide, gigantic groups out of this gun. Uh, one of the lessons that I've learned was keep the barrel super clean. That means every 200 to 300 shots, I have to keep it clean. Other Otherwise, I start to see my groups open up. Thank you for watching. As always, I'll try to keep up with timely videos. I do have another video out there. It's the RWS Accuracy Demo video. Uh, I decided to put uh, uh, postpone that one and do the JSB one simply because I didn't want, or I wanted to minimize the criticism that I was going to get from putting that video out. So thank you for watching, subscribe, comment, like, share. Till next time.